Hello and thanks for watching this video. So a few days ago I actually made a video showing you exactly how you can get the Google Keyword Planner monthly search volume back into your accounts um, and as you can see um, I've uploaded it onto YouTube. We've had quite a few views and likes and comments as well. Um, now some of the comments actually make you aware um, or make notes that it's not working and it's only been working or it stopped working after the 22nd of September and that's exactly what somebody else says down here as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and create another account right in front of you. Um, but before I do that um, I'm going to quickly show you that it is still working on the account that I created last time. Um, so I I'll go over to the Google Keyword Planner and these are my Firefox profiles guys. Um, I actually have um, quite a few Firefox profiles. Okay, so I'm going to sign into AdWords. Okay, and the first thing that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to actually get out of my manager account. Okay, well actually what I'll do, I'll actually try and do a search in my manager account. Okay, so let's do SEO um, website promotion for example, and click on get search volume. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this is actually giving me the full search volume here. Normally what I would do is I would, I would actually use my research account, which is a client account, uh, to actually perform the research. So anyway, let's create a brand new one together and let's see if it's working. So today's date is actually the 25th of September. Um, I'm not sure if I can drag this down. Let's see if I can. Okay, I'm sure you can see there, it says 25th of September. In fact, what we can do is we can actually open up this browser here. Let's choose one of these Firefox profiles here. Okay, and here's my actual account, or here's my actual site. I'm gonna copy this link. We're gonna actually go over to Gmail first. Okay, and as you can see, we're logged in. Okay, fantastic. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the Google AdWords account and I'm gonna sign up for free. Again, you have to make sure you don't have an AdWords account already associated with this. So as you can see, I've got no AdWords account associated with this. Um, my management account. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be managing other people's accounts. I'm gonna keep everything the same. As you can see, this time it's from the USA. Um, some of my accounts are actually from Russia and all over the world, to be honest. So. Um, there has not been, or I haven't noticed, noticed any issues in regards to working like this, or working with whatever accounts from whatever location. So let's give it a few moments and let's see what happens. And again, guys, I'm working behind proxies here, um, so it might take a little bit longer. Okay, give us a few moments, it's still trying to get to the actual page. Okay, fantastic. So here's a page um, that you actually want to come and create the account on. Before I actually create this account, obviously I've already got it in this video showing you how to do it. Um, some users have made notes that they are, they're being asked to set up a budget and a campaign. So I'm actually making notes that you must be on the actual campaigns page. When you're on the campaigns page, it's asking you to actually create a campaign, add your budget and everything in there as well. What you wanna do is go over to accounts, if you're not already on accounts, click on add account, new AdWords account, um, and call this customer, um, I don't know, let's call it New Zealand. Okay, I'm just making it random, guys. Um, and the reason I'm doing it random is so that you guys can do it random as well. We don't wanna be using and leaving the same footprints. What I'm gonna do now is I can actually click on this customer, or I can now use this drop down menu, okay? I'm not sure why it's not showing in there yet. Okay, I'll actually click on the customer instead then. Okay, once you've clicked on the customer, you're gonna be able to use everything. Okay, so here's the campaigns page. Um, so this is the page that everyone's landing on and they're thinking that they have to um, create the first campaign and you know add some money or their credit card or whatnot. You, you don't have to do any of that. What you need to do is go over to tools. When you're on tools, go over to keyword planner. When you're on the keyword planner now, now you can start performing your research. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm gonna search volume and trends. I'm gonna do SEO again. Oops, sorry about that noise. And I'm gonna do website promotion and backlink building. Okay, and I'll click on get search volume and give it a few moments. And what you can see is we've got the full monthly searches back here again. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try and do a search for my management account, which is my main account. Let's see if it actually gives me the monthly searches. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so this is why I actually wanna show you why it's important to use a customer account 
uh, to actually get this done. Um, obviously in my previous one it worked, in this one we don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, so I'm actually doing this totally wrong. So let's go over to accounts again. Let's go to my management account. Okay, I'm already on there. What I need to do, I need to go over to the Google Keyword Planner. So I'm going to go over to Google, if it works, and I'm just going to type in Google Keyword. <laughs> Check this out, guys. I think our proxies is actually in Sweden, um, but our actual um, account is in America. So there you go. Okay, so search volume. So this is my management account now, guys. Here you go. You can actually change from here. I'm going to use my management account now. I'm going to do exactly the same SEO. Um, we'll do website oops, promotion and we'll do backlink generation, for example. And we'll click on get search volume. And I hope it actually gives us the ranges here so that, okay, it hasn't given us the ranges. But anyway, guys, as you can see, today's the 25th of September. It's still working. There's no problems with this. Um, so if any of you guys aren't able to get this to work, um, namely some of the guys that have actually made notes down here, such as Anna um, and such as, um, I think there's somebody else as well, yeah, Manisha Singh, um, then you know what, you're doing something wrong because it is still working and I've just shown it to you. Thank you very much and I hope you like the video.